Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. What I'm really truly seeing is there's a, a masculines out here, um, whoever for whoever this is for. They're getting the messages loud and clear. I feel like the light is just kind of shining on them. And spiritually, they're kind of under a spotlight right now. Um, but they're, they're being watched. I feel like they're having a lot of messages just hammering them right now, okay? This is all the messages that they're getting from the divine. This is the divine telling them they need to wake up, okay? They need to get the messages. Now, it's time, I feel. Um, and I feel like the divide, they just keep pushing the messages away. They're, they're avoiding the situation. I feel a heavy sense of avoidance, not wanting to change things about um, their lifestyle. It could be addictions. It could be toxic situations and partnerships. Um, it's definitely needing to drop the, um, the ego. The ego is huge here because I feel like that's one of the big things that are holding this person back, um, they're feeling very burdened. And I feel like the divine, the more the divine shines the light on them, the more burdened they feel, okay? Because the divine is literally trying to pull this person out of toxicity, possibly a toxic, like I said, it could just be a toxic lifestyle. They could be addictions, right? Um, it could be over drinking. It could be narcissism. It could be just not having any empathy or respect or consideration for other people. Um, it's definitely got something to do with their ego um, and their arrogance here. Uh, and the divine just keeps shining this bright light on top of them. And they keep getting more and more burdened in their life because they're hanging on to that ego, they're hanging on um, uh, to any kind of toxic lifestyle they don't want to let go of. I feel like this person, there's a, there's masculines, I feel like it's a masculine out here as a player. There's too many feminine energies around them. They could be toxic individuals as well that they may need to release. So they need to release things like their player ways, right? They need to release things like um, the disrespect of other people, they need to release anything toxic that they're in right now. The light is being shined on these people, okay? I feel like things are, um, things about them are being exposed too that they don't want exposed. This is a lot of exposure here because these are things that they need to actually take a look at, you know? They need to realize these are their burdens and until they heal, and release these things, they're going to continue to feel more and more burdened by the day. They're carrying this around with them. And I feel like the divine is telling them to heal and release or change something. Take a look at the situation. You know, uh, for a lot of these masculines, like they've got a lot of secrets, right? And they don't want them exposed. Well, guess what? The divine is exposing them. Um, and I feel like... Uh, Things need to come to an end. That's what that's what spirits are, spirit is saying. Anything toxic, anything that you do within your ego, you need to let go of. It needs to come to an end here so that it can bring around a transformation in the new cycle. The cycle needs to end. And they can't graduate and they can't move on and they can't move forward unless they change these things about themselves. Okay, and this is like, this. these could be, uh, it could be something like a toxic lifestyle that they've lived for years and years and years. It's the spirits telling this person it's time for you to grow up. It's not, it's not flipping high school anymore. It's time for you to open your eyes to a new way here. Um, feminine energies are no longer dealing with your crap. It's time for you to take a look at all the things that are burdening you right now because this toxicity and the ego, it's not helping you, pal. It's time to wake up. And I feel like they just keep fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. And it's, you know what, the spirit's not going to let them fight it anymore. Whether they like it or not, it is time for change. 
whether they like it or not, they're going to have to see the light and wake up. Okay. And I feel like, um, yeah, they, I feel like this person could have been juggling too a divine feminine, the angel of love. Okay. And I feel like um, they need to make a decision. Something's got to end here. They've got to release something. They've got to heal from some things. They've got to, they, if they're juggling a divine feminine with a, an entire group of other people on the side, that has to end. Like now. I feel like, um, I feel like this is the feminines that are in this energy right now, releasing, healing, moving forward. And this is something that's extremely hard to do. Because I feel like, for the Divine Feminines, um, you know, we've put so much into this journey and um, I, I feel like, I feel like we still love our person. You know how hard it is to walk away from someone you love, somebody that you, you were hoping that they could transform their own life here or do something. Okay, but you know, they continue to juggle I, and, and it's like, yeah, I feel like it's hard for you to do, but you're doing it. You're putting forth that effort. You've put forth the effort in this journey, in this connection, this whole time. So you've learned your lessons. You've done your work. You get to move forward here with your life and that's what you're doing. But I feel like there's an egotistical, some of these masculines are all up in their ego trying to control the situation, trying to pull on your energy, Divine Feminine, as you're leaving. And they don't have a right to do that anymore. They don't. The, plain and simple, the fact of the matter is they don't have a right to be pulling on your energy or trying to manifest you when they're dealing with other people. They don't, they can, they continuously try to avoid the situation and push it away. They've got no right to try to hang on to you now. They haven't, they haven't put forth the effort. So I feel like the, the divine is trying to shine the light on all of this for this masculine or whoever this is, right? Um, and I feel like uh, it's time for things to change. I feel like equally, you know what? This can stand for a lot of trash talk in the community. Bashing the divine feminine. For what? The feminine here has shown a great deal of strength, perseverance, and integrity. And trying to move forward out of this energy. None of these people here seem to want to let go of that energy, but yet they want to continue to bash the, the Divine Feminine behind their back, drag their reputation through the mud, send them bad juju, okay? And no, none of these people have a right to do this. So I feel like something needs to be released here, okay? It's at, for the masculine, it's either a toxic lifestyle or, what, or their ego, right? I feel like it's both. Or they need to release the Divine Feminine. And I feel like the Divine is getting very upset um, that this just continues. The, the trash talking, the gossip, the community of haters that's sending constant bad energy. The fact that this masculine, you know what, they know they should do the right thing, but they... Um, they're too much in their ego to do anything about it. That's not a show of strength. That's just, that's a sign of um, uh, a coward, you know, being a coward. And I feel like uh, for the feminines, you've shown nothing but strength here. And I, I feel like um, it's abundantly clear, too, to the public who you, who you are. Your divine being, an earth angel, the angel of love. You know, I feel like the divine is really getting ticked off. Okay, I'm, I'm putting it out there. I'm seeing warnings all over here. The, the world card twice. The sun and death. And, and the devil and, and this egotistical em emperor. Okay, I feel like it and all these burdens that they're carrying because, of, because they're re refusing to listen to the messages. They're refusing 
um, to do anything to change the situation. They don't want to let go of toxic situations and toxic people and lifestyles. I mean, they're going against God here. And God has given them plenty of time, plenty of time to clean this up. You know, I feel like there's just, there's got, things have to end. Poor treatment of others, it's got to come to an end. The gossip, the bad energy being sent, any kind of spell work, it's got to come to an end. Um, the ego, it's got to get tossed out the window. You know, and I feel like, look, the divine wouldn't be, um, they, they wouldn't be on top of this person, right? Um, unless they were very important. I feel like this is a, these are masculines that are super important for the world, you guys. You know? And I feel like you have respected that, Divine Feminine. You're, you've been the only one out here give, giving out the respect. And um, I feel like the, the, um, the credit where credit is due here. You've been the only one to do this, even behind the scenes when no one was looking. You had nothing but strength and integrity. You held your head up high. You know, and you forged forward. But yeah, I, I just feel like, you know, I feel like you were really believing in this masculine. But um, I, I feel like they're being asked, what is it that they believe in? Because they're getting the messages loud and clear. And they keep, they keep going against it. Thinking that... Um, thinking that they've got all this power, okay? And they don't. They, the divine is in control here. I really get that, you know, if they're, if they're not receiving the messages, the divine is exposing them, you know, um, making them feel very burdened, right? They've got to be able to release something here. People are, are going to start to be not allowed to gossip about you anymore. The divine has had enough of that. There's a lot here that needs to come to an end, you know. Um, so I feel like this is a major warning for the masculines here. And they need to make a decision. Um, third parties or the divine feminine, you can't have both and you can't try to stop the feminine anymore. And you can't, you know, the, you have no right. They have no right to be pulling on your energy at all. You know, yeah, I feel like for the feminines, you're moving forward. You're you're very deserving of love. You know, um, yeah, you're moving on. You could be a Cancer, um, Taurus, maybe, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We could be talking about a Leo, a Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio. Um, I really feel, though, that this is like masculine or, or feminine energies. Take it how it resonates. It's not gender specific. I'm just feeling a lot of masculine energy here. And I feel like the divine is going to bring down their hand really heavy on these people if they don't change things, toxic things about their life and grow up. You know, open their eyes. And realize some things and grow up. Yeah, see, I feel like this is it, too. The, the divine wants them to do the right thing. For some of you, the, the, these people are being told they either apologize or the divine's bringing something down. They need to do the right thing here. If, if they, especially if they want the feminine, they better, they better get in there. I mean, that's what the... That's what the divine is, is saying here. This is a tower moment being issued by the divine, okay? And you are having a victory, divine feminine, moving forward. You're having a victory, being been through a battle here, healed and moving forward straight into new love and blessings, okay? You know why? Because there's more than just love in these cups, you guys. Cups stand for emotion and love and spirituality everything you feel and, and believe in it at a soul level okay so your faith your intuition i feel like you just stayed on your path here you stayed on your path you had faith in this journey 
you did what the divine told you to do. Spirit has seen what you have done, and they've seen what this person has done. Okay? And I feel like that's why you're being blessed here. And you're very deserving of love. So I feel like you're riding straight into it. Um, yeah, and I feel like you're leaving this person behind. And this, this person, if they don't apologize, someone they ghosted, they hurt, they could have said a lot of nasty things to you, painful things. Um, they left you standing here with no one to help you, okay? No, no clarity, no closure, no questions answered, nothing, okay? They just ghosted you, left you behind. And on top of it, there's been a community of people bashing you behind your back and sending you bad energy. The divine is like, man, you better make it right. Or we're bringing down, we're leveling your life. Do you understand? Make it right, the things that you've done to another human being, or we're going to level what you've got going on. I mean, these are major warnings for this masculine, and they, one right after the next, they push it away, thinking that they're in control, and they have the power, and they don't. They just don't. So there's a major tower moment coming for these people, okay? Um, and it's all about divine timing. But there is going to be a, an end to the cycle, whether they like it or not. And I feel like if they don't make it right or don't come in to um, do right by the divine feminine, divine feminines, if you've done your work and you've leveled up and you've learned your lessons, you'll know, right? You guys know what you've been through and what you've accomplished. You get to move forward. And you get to have that victory. So, you know, the divine's not putting up with people anymore. I'm telling you guys, I, I've been picking up on this angry spirit, angry energy um, for the last couple of days, you know. Yeah, it's time for these people to take action. And I feel like there's a masculine here, too, who knows about spell work, and they know they know about the spell work. They know about the bad energy being sent. They know, um, they know about the trash talking behind your back. They know how people have gossiped about you and laughed at you and put you down and picked you apart. They've witnessed this. They've seen it, and yet you still, you know what? You've had nothing but strength, honesty, and integrity during this whole thing. Oh, they're watching everything. They can see this, but yet they've done nothing. They've just observed. They've done nothing to stand up for you. The divine has seen everything here. They're under judgment. Both of these people, here's that masculine, and here's that group of three feminine energies in the community. They are all under judgment. All under judgment. Because no one defended or helped or, or was honest with the one who truly deserved it, right? I feel like they, they put you in third parties. They dragged you through the mud. They, tr they trashed your reputation or tried to. They tried to slow you down. They tried to hurt you. Some of this spell work that's been sent to you has been, it's been sick. You know, and yet this masculine knows about it and they do nothing. They do nothing to defend you. Oh, man, I'm telling you what. The divine is mad. They've seen it all. They've seen everything. I feel like things are going to be exposed here. Um, towers are coming down. People are going to be getting their karma. You know, just for observing all of this happening and not doing anything, not having the integrity and the sensitivity to do the right thing for another human being. Okay, yeah, they're not in control of any, any other person and they have no right to be pulling on your energy now. Okay, so yeah, I feel like, um, look, you get a new beginning here. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, all the divine beings here that have done their work. 
I feel like, that have put forth the effort, right, and really tried to transform your life, and you've learned your lessons. I feel like you're under um, the strong wingspan of divine protection here. You're being protected so that you can move forward, be absolutely blessed, meet somebody new here, um, start something passionate for yourself, build something solid. Um, you got ten pentacles here that's coming to you, and, and the ace of cups and the ace of wands. You're about to be blessed. You're about to be blessed. And I feel like... Um, if if these people, whoever this is, if they don't get their act together, they get to watch you move on while, while their tower burns to ashes, okay? Really. I, I feel like the divine is really mad here. They're getting really mad. They've, ha they've seen enough. They've had enough. They're, these people are, man, they're really pushing it, okay? They're really pushing it at this point. Um, let's just get some oracles for you. What can you tell me for the collective here? Messages for the collective. Maybe some advice. Ooh. Adventure, yeah. I feel like, you know what? You're about to start a whole new life for yourself. The situation has transformed for you. And I feel like in the chariot here with uh, the lover's card, I'm also feeling like you're both masculine and feminine energy combined, okay? I feel like with the chariot and the divine protecting you, there's nothing that can stop you. And um, uh, you're about to, I feel like everything has been working in the background in your favor. And I feel like you're about to come, step into this portal and have your wishes fulfilled because of the effort you've put in here um you're gonna i feel like you're gonna have new soulmate connections the divine is sending you a companion uh, a companion so it could be um i feel like new love is coming in for you yes but i feel like you're gonna meet new soulmate connections that are actually gonna be there for you man wouldn't that be nice what a great concept right i feel like that's how it should be I feel like people, are, you know, people have lost touch with how things should be. I feel like they're way too obsessed about control and their ego and the 3D world and materialism and superficiality. And I feel like, you know what, now you're stepping into a time when you're actually going to meet people who are, who are going to treat you the way you should be treated. These are, these are going to be soulmate connections the way they should be, okay? So, yeah, you're going you're gonna to have people in your corner. Um, yeah, what a, what a nice breath of fresh air that'll be, right? Yeah, and I feel like you're, you're headed there. You've, this is a whole new way of life for you. All new people in a new community. You could even be making like a location change, a house move. I'm seeing a house back here in the background. Somebody wished for this. See, with this twirling air here, I feel like whatever you've wished for, whatever you've been trying to manifest, they're bringing it towards you. They're setting everything up, okay? So I feel like they're bringing you towards wish fulfillment and new soulmate connections here. And whatever you've built with the divine, it is strong and built to last. I feel like you're going to, you're, um, number one, you've got to continue to think positively, okay? Because you're co-creating here with the divine, as above, so below. So when, when you watch your vibrations, you know, make sure your vibes stay high. Right now you're in a time of manifestation. You're, you're kind of like, um, uh, you're giving each other information, Okay, you're working with the divine. So the thoughts that you put out there, they hold on to and they're sending you downloads and they're sending you the things that you're thinking about. So um, you're really working together as a close-knit team right now, even though you may not be aware of it all day, but you are. So watch how you speak about yourself and your future, okay? 
Um, keep your thoughts very positive right now because whatever you're sending out there for them, they're creating to send back to you. So, you know, um, look it up. It's um, the law of attraction. Okay, you can Google it. Your thoughts become reality. Okay, what you're thinking about is going to turn into a thing in your future. Okay, and so you want to keep your your positive vibes and be grateful uh, because you know what they're always listening to you they're always right there in you not just around you but they're in you so um whatever you're thinking about that's what they're going to be sending you okay so this is a i feel like it's a very powerful time of manifesting right now that we're in um that's what the cards are showing me and that's the energy we've been getting out here so just keep your positive vibes. Yeah, and here, that's what it is. Make a wish. What did I say? You make a wish. You put it out there because you guys are connected. You give them the information. Think of this as communication with God, right? There's a sender and a receiver. A sender and a receiver. <coughs> that's what this is. You're sending them your information and thoughts, and they're receiving it, um, and creating creating your manifestation so basically you get to make these wishes you get to make these wishes and they're making them for you in the background and you're headed straight for them all here look love passionate new beginning right um at the ten of pentacles yeah you know so be careful be careful of your self-talk, you know, watch what you're manifesting throughout the day, you know, if you find yourself slipping into a negative energy, try to transmute and transform that energy and cheer yourself up again, right, um, yeah, because right now you're manifesting whatever you're wishing for right now, I feel like it's going to be granted for those of you who have done your work, for those of you who have done your work, the other people who haven't, that aren't listening, all they're manifesting is burdens and tower moments. Okay? That's it. Okay? The ones who are faithful and grateful and are putting in the effort, us, we get to move forward and be blessed. Okay? Blessed. Okay? Blessed.